You won't believe what this drone stumbled upon in the wilderness. National parks, with their expansive wild and often remote landscapes, are often centers of mystery, with many mysteries lasting for decades. From the mysterious inhabitants of the Grand Canyon to the baffling cases of missing persons, here are 20 unexplained mysteries of national parks. Number 20. People of the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon, renowned for its breathtaking natural beauty, is also steeped in the rich mythology of the Hopi Indians. These people have inhabited the canyon for over 2,000 years. Central to Hopi mythology is Masawu, the god of death and the guardian of the underworld. Masawu is revered and feared. He's a figure not to be messed with, especially by visitors. According to Hopi legend, Masawu's throne is located within the Grand Canyon, and it's said that in certain areas where no light should be moving, they sometimes do, especially if one ventures too close to his domain. There are accounts of hikers encountering unexplained phenomena, such as strange lights and the sound of clanging rocks near these sacred sites. These eerie experiences sometimes lead to panic and accidents as people feel chased or threatened by these unexplained occurrences. Number 19. Dyatlov Pass Incident One of the most intriguing outdoor mysteries is the Dyatlov Pass Incident. In fact, you might have already heard about this. In February 1959, nine Soviet hikers led by Igor Dyatlov perished under mysterious circumstances in the Ural Mountains. They had set up camp on the eastern slopes, and despite the sub-zero temperatures, Something caused them to flee their tent inadequately dressed in heavy snowfall. The investigation revealed that six hikers died of hypothermia, while three suffered physical trauma with injuries comparable to a high-force impact. Strangely enough, there were no external wounds linked to these internal injuries. What's more, some of them had bizarre injuries that were quite impossible to explain. For bodies showed soft tissue damage to their head and face, with some missing eyes, the tongue, and even eyebrows. The temperatures were extremely low, reaching negative degrees Celsius and the deceased were only partially dressed, some with only one shoe or socks. What's strange is that some bodies were found wrapped in pieces of clothing that appeared to have been cut from those who had already died. An animal attack, military involvement, an avalanche, or just the force of nature. The cause of these bizarre injuries was unknown for a long time. In 2019, a new investigation concluded that an avalanche had likely caused the hikers to leave their camp and subsequently die of hypothermia. This conclusion, however, does not fully explain all the mysterious aspects of the incident, such as the severe injuries and the state in which the bodies were found. There was speculation about an attack by the indigenous Monsi people, but this was dismissed due to the lack of any struggle signs or other footprints besides those of the hikers. The official conclusion at the time was that the group died due to a compelling natural force, and the case was closed in May 1959 due to the absence of a guilty party, with the files being sent to a secret archive. And so, the mystery surrounding this incident remains to this day. Number 18. The Disappearance of Dennis Martin The case of Dennis Martin in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is a deeply unsettling mystery that remains unsolved. On June 14, 1969, six-year-old Dennis, visiting the park with his family, vanished while playing a hide-and-seek game near Spence Field. His sudden disappearance prompted a massive search effort involving over 1,400 people, including the National Guard and Green Beret, but no trace of him was ever found. The search area, known for its challenging terrain with steep slopes, ravines, and the presence of wild animals, was further complicated by heavy rain shortly after Dennis's disappearance. These conditions potentially obscured crucial clues. Despite extensive efforts which covered 56 square miles, the search was officially closed on September 14, 1969, making it the largest search in the park's history. Several theories have been proposed regarding Dennis's fate, including the possibility that he got lost and succumbed to exposure, was attacked by a wild animal, or was abducted. A disturbing account by a tourist of a scream and a sighting of a suspicious man made this case more chilling but lacked sufficient evidence to be conclusively linked to Dennis's disappearance. Number 17. The Istal Woman. The Istal Woman mystery, a perplexing case from Norway, began on November 29, 1970, when a woman's burnt body was found in the Istalen Valley near Bergen, Norway. The case quickly spiraled into a deep mystery compounded by the discovery of her strange trail of coded messages, disguises, and multiple fake identities. The investigation revealed oddities, including the meticulous removal of any identifying marks from her belongings and the placement of objects around her body that suggested a possible ceremonial aspect. Eyewitness accounts provided little help in identifying her. She was estimated to be between 25 and 40 years old, with brownish-black hair, a small round face and brown eyes. Further deepening the mystery, police found two suitcases at the Bergen railway station containing items linked to her, yet all labels that could help identify her were removed, 
The suitcases contained a variety of items, including clothing, wigs, and a coded note which police later believed to be a record of the hotels where she stayed. Amid the Cold War backdrop, some theories suggested she might have been a spy, especially given her use of multiple identities and secretive behaviors. The autopsy revealed she had consumed a large number of sleeping pills and had smoke particles in her lungs, indicating she was alive when she burned. The official cause of death was a combination of carbon monoxide poisoning and a sleeping pill overdose, but some investigators disputed this conclusion. In 2016, the case was reopened utilizing modern forensic technology and DNA analysis in hopes of resolving lingering questions about her identity and the circumstances of her death. Despite creating a complete DNA profile, her identity remains unknown. The Istal woman's case continues to be a subject of intrigue and speculation. Number 16. Haunted Battleground. Gettysburg Park, known for the pivotal battle of the American Civil War, has garnered a reputation as a haunted battleground. Researchers and witnesses claim that paranormal activity is more intense in Gettysburg than in any other location, with phenomena like the smell of phantom perfume adding to its mystique. The Battle of Gettysburg, which raged for three days across the town's hills, forests, and streets, resulted in enormous casualties, with 46,000 to 51,000 soldiers from both armies perishing. This tragic history has indelibly marked the town and the surrounding battlefield. The pervasive sense of a haunted past is accentuated by eyewitness reports of ghostly soldiers seen throughout the park, with apparitions observed marching, riding horses, or engaged in battle, particularly around areas where significant fighting occurred, like Pickett's Charge. A notable sight within this haunted landscape is the Devil's Den, a natural rock formation used during the Civil War and associated with its own legends. Visitors to Gettysburg often report eerie experiences, including hearing sounds of gunfire and drums, feeling unseen hands, and encountering apparitions, with some even claiming that cameras malfunction in attempts to capture these phenomena. Number 15. Underwater Waterfall. One of the most mind-boggling sights in the world is the underwater waterfall in Mauritius. This waterfall is unlike any other. Located near the island's southwestern tip, this visual marvel creates the illusion of a waterfall under the sea. Although it looks mysterious, the reality behind this site is quite simple. The effect is produced by the movement of sand and silt on the ocean floor, driven by powerful underwater currents. From above, the varying shades of blue in the ocean water around this area enhance the illusion, making it appear as though the ocean's waters are cascading down into a deep underwater abyss. Despite its name, there's no actual water falling beneath the ocean's surface. Even so, it has become a mind-boggling sight for visitors from around the world. Number 14. The Crone of Catskills. Nestled in the scenic beauty of New York's Catskill Mountains, lies a legend that serves as a chilling reminder of the importance of respecting preserved locations. The legend of the Crone of the Catskills revolves around a mysterious hand-carved effigy discovered in a cave in the Catskill Mountains, New York. This artifact, with rusty nails hammered into its wooden eyes and a noose around its neck, was found by two hikers and brought home despite one's objections. After its removal, Strange occurrences began to manifest in their home, including the apparition of an old wet woman, unexplained movements of the statue, and unsettling smells. The artifact was eventually handed over to a paranormal museum, where it continued to exhibit eerie behaviors despite being under constant surveillance. No conclusive evidence of paranormal activity was recorded, except for a few anomalies and the slight movement of the statue itself. This mysterious artifact exemplifies the risks and consequences of removing objects from preserved locations, as its removal from the cave seemed to trigger these unexplained events. This is once again a gentle reminder that if you see something during your trip, it's best to just leave it alone in its rightful place. Number 13. Disappearance of Everett Roos. Everett Roos was a young adventurer who vanished without a trace in 1934, and for decades, it's remained a mystery. At the young age of 20, Roos was known for his deep love of the American Southwest's wild landscapes, often venturing solo into remote areas to capture their beauty through his art and writings. In November 1934, Roos embarked on a journey through the rugged canyons of Utah, an area known for its breathtaking yet challenging terrain. He was last seen by local sheep herders, after which he seemingly disappeared into the vast wilderness. Despite extensive searches, no conclusive evidence of his fate was ever found. His donkey was discovered near Escalante, but Roos himself, along with his possessions, remained missing. Over the years, various theories have emerged about Roos's fate. Some speculate he may have met with an accident in the treacherous canyon country, while others suggest he could have encountered foul play. There are also more romanticized theories, including the possibility that Roos chose to disappear 
and start a new life under a different identity, captivated by the wilderness he so loved. The mystery of Everett Roos has grown over time. His writings and art have gained posthumous fame, and his disappearance continues to intrigue new generations, inspiring books, documentaries, and expeditions seeking clues to his unknown fate. Number 12. Disappearance of Glenn and Bessie Hyde Another eerie case involves the disappearance of Glenn and Bessie Hyde in 1928. The newlywed couple decided to have a honeymoon adventure through the Colorado River Rapids in the Grand Canyon. Their ambition was to make history, with Bessie set to become the first woman to run the Colorado River Rapids through the Grand Canyon, and Glenn aiming to set a new speed record for the journey. The couple embarked on their journey in October 1928, with Glenn having some prior experience in river running. They were last seen alive on November 18, 1928, as they boated downriver below Hermit Rapid. Despite the comprehensive search efforts that followed their disappearance, no trace of the hides was ever found. A camera recovered from their boat indicated that they had made it as far as River Mile 226, and evidence suggested that they may have been swept up by the boat in heavy rapids near River Mile 232. In 1971, an elderly woman on a rafting trip in the Grand Canyon claimed to be Bessie Hyde, alleging that she had killed her husband and escaped the canyon alone, but she later recanted the story. There was also speculation linking the late famed rafter Georgie Clark to Bessie Hyde, but no conclusive evidence supported this theory. Skeletal remains found on the canyon rim in 1976 were initially suspected to be Glen Hyde's, but later forensic investigations ruled this out. This enduring mystery continues to captivate the imagination, as the fate of Glen and Bessie Hyde remains one of the most intriguing unsolved cases in the history of American national parks. Number 11. The Yowie. The Yowie. Australia's equivalent to Bigfoot or the Himalayan Yeti, is a cryptid shrouded in terror and intrigue. It's often described in Aboriginal Australian legends and modern sightings as a massive, hairy, bipedal creature with an imposing stature exceeding seven feet. Its appearance alone is said to make anyone tremble in fear. Rooted deeply in Aboriginal lore, the Yowie has become a symbol of the unknown lurking in Australia's wilderness. Modern encounters often describe it as aggressive and elusive, qualities that contribute to its formidable reputation. The Yowie, unlike other cryptids, is frequently associated with a palpable sense of dread during sightings, making it one of the more terrifying creatures in global cryptid folklore. Reported sightings, some from credible witnesses, continue to fuel discussions about its existence, but aside from blurry photos, we are yet to find more evidence. Number 10. The Music of Yellowstone Lake Yellowstone Lake, nestled in the heart of Yellowstone National Park, is not only known for its stunning natural beauty, but also for a mysterious and unexplained phenomenon, a peculiar sound that emanates from its depths. This enigmatic sound, often described as a kind of underwater hum or chirp, has baffled visitors and scientists. The sound, first reported by park visitors and rangers, is not easily dismissed as a mere trick of the wind or the usual noises of wildlife. It's distinct and persistent, emanating from the lake itself. Theories about its origin range from the mundane to the fantastical. Some speculate that it might be caused by geothermal activities beneath the lake's bed, given Yellowstone's volcanic nature. The park, after all, sits atop a massive supervolcano, and geothermal activity is a well-known feature, manifesting in geysers and hot springs throughout the area. Others have proposed that the sound could result from underwater currents or the movement of gases through the lake's subterranean waterways. Yellowstone Lake is vast and deep, with a complex underwater topography that includes deep canyons and hydrothermal vents. These features could potentially create unique acoustic properties, leading to mysterious sounds. However, despite various hypotheses, there has been no definitive explanation for this phenomenon. Number 9. Devil's Kettle Waterfall Mystery The Devil's Kettle, a unique geological feature located along the Brule River in Minnesota, presents a mystery that, while perhaps not as eerie as unexplained disappearances in national parks, still captures the imagination. This fascinating natural phenomenon consists of a waterfall that splits into two, with one side flowing downstream as expected, while the other side vanishes into a pothole, leaving many to wonder where the water goes. Unlike the haunting mysteries of people vanishing without a trace in national parks, the enigma of the Devil's Kettle is rooted in natural science. For years, it baffled both visitors and geologists alike. Objects, including logs and colored dyes, were thrown into the kettle to track the water's path, but none resurfaced, deepening the mystery. This fueled speculation ranging from underground rivers to secret portals. However, recent studies suggest a less fantastical explanation. The water likely rejoins the river further downstream, having carved out subterranean pathways through the rock. However, 
many continue to believe that there's something supernatural going on in this body of water. Number 8. Bigfoot Bigfoot, often regarded as one of the most enduring mysteries of North American folklore, particularly in national parks, continues to captivate the public imagination. Described as a large, bipedal humanoid creature covered in thick fur, Bigfoot is primarily associated with the dense, remote forests of the Pacific Northwest. Reports and alleged sightings describe a creature standing over eight feet tall, with an ape-like stature, leaving behind oversized footprints, hence the name Bigfoot. This cryptid has become an iconic figure in the realm of unsolved natural mysteries, with its legend deeply ingrained in the culture of national parks and wilderness areas. Despite numerous sightings, photographs, and footprint casts, street evidence of Bigfoot's existence remains elusive, making it one of the most persistent enigmas in the vast, unexplored areas of North American parks. Skeptics argue that Bigfoot is a combination of myth, misidentification of wildlife, and outright hoaxes, but to this day, many believe in the existence of this cryptid. Number 7. Skunk Ape The skunk ape, a legendary creature said to inhabit the swamps and forests of the southeastern United States, especially Florida, is another cryptid shrouded in mystery. Described as a large, hairy being resembling a primate and known for its distinctive unpleasant odor, the skunk ape is often compared to the Pacific Northwest's Bigfoot. Sightings over the years describe it as towering over six feet tall, covered in reddish-brown fur, with glowing red eyes. Reports often come from credible sources like hikers and local residents, though concrete evidence remains elusive. In 1957, the first widely known encounter with the skunk ape occurred when two hunters reported an intrusion of a foul-smelling giant ape disrupting their camp in the Everglades. Numerous sightings ensued, including a family in 1973 who asserted that the skunk ape chased their child off a tricycle. The following year, another family claimed to have hit one with their car, presenting hairs from the incident as evidence. The creature is closely tied to the unique ecosystems of the Southeast, particularly the dense, mysterious Florida Everglades, which provide a plausible habitat for such an elusive being. Despite numerous accounts, skepticism surrounds the existence of the skunk ape. Critics suggest sightings might be misidentifications of known wildlife like bears, with a challenging environment contributing to the confusion. However, the lack of definitive proof hasn't deterred enthusiasts and cryptozoologists who continue to search for evidence of this enigmatic creature. Number 6. Nahani Valley Headless Men Located in the remote reaches of Canada's Northwest Territories, the Nahani Valley, often referred to as the Valley of Headless Men, is a place renowned for its natural beauty but also for the eerie legend surrounding it. In fact, it's known as the final frontier for good reason. The legend of the Valley of the Headless Men gained prominence in the early 20th century following a series of unexplained disappearances and grisly discoveries. The most infamous of these involved the deaths of prospectors whose decapitated bodies were found in the valley, fueling rumors of a dark and malevolent force at work. The indigenous Dean people have long spoken of the valley as a place of evil spirits and supernatural entities. Their oral traditions are abundant with stories of mysterious creatures and malevolent forces lurking in the valley, warning of the dangers that await those who dare to venture into this secluded area. Theories about the headless men of Nahani Valley range from the plausible to the fantastic. Some suggest that the beheadings were the work of a madman or a serial killer, while others speculate about a hidden trove of gold guarded fiercely by an unknown entity. There are also those who believe in the existence of an unknown species of animal or a supernatural force responsible for the deaths and disappearances. Despite numerous investigations and explorations, no other evidence has been found to explain the gruesome findings and the many tales of strange happenings in the valley. Now it's time for today's topic. In the dense, fog-covered heart of the Ohio rainforest near Loveland, an unmanned drone captured footage that has left scientists and locals alike baffled. The drone, operated by wildlife researcher Dr. Emily Harper, was initially deployed to study the migratory patterns of birds in the area. However, what it captured on a misty evening in late September was far beyond the scope of its intended mission. Hovering just above the treetops near the Little Miami River, the drone's infrared camera picked up a peculiar figure lurking at the water's edge. Upon closer examination, the footage revealed a creature standing upright, with glowing eyes piercing through the twilight gloom. The figure, measuring approximately four feet tall, bore an uncanny resemblance to the legendary Loveland Frog, a cryptid reported in local folklore since the 1950s. The Loveland Frog, described as a humanoid frog with leathery skin and webbed hands and feet, has long been a subject of intrigue and skepticism. Dr. Harper, alongside her team, has the footage meticulously, confirming that the creature exhibited characteristics consistent with the elusive cryptid. The exact location of the sighting was near a secluded part of the river, 
known for its dense vegetation and minimal human interference. As the news spreads from various fields have weighed in, some suggesting that the footage might be a clever hoax designed to stir public interest. Yet, others believe this could be groundbreaking evidence of a species long thought to be a myth. The enigmatic drone footage continues to spark debate, leaving many to wonder what other secrets the Ohio rainforest holds. Number 5. Sailing Stones of Death Valley The Sailing Stones of Death Valley National Park present a mesmerizing and perplexing geologic mystery. Located on the flat, dry surface of the racetrack playa, these stones, some weighing hundreds of pounds, move across the ground, leaving long trailing paths behind them without any human or animal intervention. For years, the movement of these stones baffled both scientists and visitors. The trails suggest a forceful yet unseen movement, prompting theories ranging from magnetic fields to hurricane force winds. However, no definitive explanation fit until recently. Research involving time-lapse photography and GPS tracking revealed a rare combination of events. Sheets of ice forming around the stones, then melting in the sun's light, with gentle winds pushing these ice-encased rocks, creating the illusion that they sail over the landscape. Well, I guess that's one mystery solved, but the infamy of the sailing stones of Death Valley remains. Number 4. The Marfa Lights Observed near the small town of Marfa in West Texas, the Marfa Lights have sparked the curiosity of both locals and visitors. This has proved to be an enduring mystery. Visible on clear nights, the Marfa Lights appear as glowing orbs that dance along the horizon in the desert. These lights display varying colors, sizes, and durations, sometimes racing in different directions, while at other times they linger before vanishing into the night. Their unpredictable nature adds to the allure and mystery surrounding them. The origin of the Marfa Lights has been the subject of much speculation. Some believe they're caused by atmospheric phenomena, such as reflections of headlights from distant vehicles or refracted light from campfires. Others suggest more natural explanations, including bioluminescent gases or the piezoelectric effect, where quartz crystals under the Earth's surface might produce light under stress. Skeptics and believers flock to the Marfa Lights viewing area, hoping to catch a glimpse of these mysterious lights. If you've seen these lights before, what do you think about them? Let me know in the comments. Number 3. Hauntings of Mammoth Cave Mammoth Cave, a sprawling and majestic cave system located in Kentucky, is not only known for its natural wonders, but also for its haunting tales that have captivated the imaginations of visitors for generations. The cave, renowned as the world's longest, holds within its dark and winding passages stories of eerie occurrences and ghostly apparitions. The legend of Floyd Collins, one of the most famous cave explorers in the history of Mammoth Cave, is a cornerstone of the cave's haunted lore. In 1925, Collins became trapped in a narrow crawlway while exploring. Despite a valiant rescue effort that garnered national media attention, Collins tragically lost his life in the cave. Since then, visitors and cave explorers have reported hearing unexplained moans and whispers in the passages near where he was trapped, leading to speculation that Collins' spirit still lingers in the cave's depths. Another haunting tale is that of the Native American spirits believed to inhabit Mammoth Cave. Archaeological evidence suggests that prehistoric peoples explored and utilized the cave system. There are countless stories of phantom drumbeats echoing through the caverns and ghostly figures seen wandering the cave's more remote passages. These sightings are often attributed to the spirits of these ancient peoples, perhaps guarding their sacred and ancestral grounds. Number 2. Fairy Circles Fairy circles are a natural phenomenon that has intrigued scientists and nature enthusiasts. These formations, found predominantly in the arid grasslands of the Namib Desert in southern Africa, are characterized by their large circular patches of bare soil, perfectly spaced and surrounded by a ring of lush grass. It's been years, but the mystery of these fairy circles continues to persist. Scientifically, one popular theory is the self-organizing vegetation pattern, suggesting these circles result from grasses at the edges tapping into scarce water resources more effectively, leaving the center barren. Another hypothesis points to sand termites clearing the vegetation in a circular pattern to maintain a moist environment in the arid desert, affecting soil permeability and nutrient distribution. However, local legends often describe them as divine footprints or the work of spirits, adding to their enigmatic allure. While science and myth offer different perspectives, the true origin of fairy circles remains a subject of ongoing debate. Number 1. The Devil's Den and the Story of Catherine Van Alst The mysterious disappearance of Catherine Van Alst at Devil's Den is among the eeriest and most bizarre cases surrounding the Ozarks. In the Devil's Den State Park in Arkansas, this location has been known for its rugged landscape, filled with caves, fissures, and dense woods. In the summer of 1946, eight-year-old Catherine Van Alst disappeared while vacationing with her family in the park. Despite its beauty, 
the park terrain is treacherous, making her sudden vanishing all the more alarming. This incident launched an extensive search operation, with volunteers scouring the challenging park terrain, but to no avail. Seven days later, in a surprising turn of events, Catherine was found. She appeared disoriented and unkempt but was otherwise unharmed. Discovered miles from her last known location, her condition raised more questions than answers. Remarkably, Catherine had no clear recollection of her disappearance or how she managed to survive in the wilderness, fueling widespread speculation. Some theorized an abduction, others a case of getting lost and surviving against the odds. However, the lack of concrete explanations, combined with the mystical reputation of Devil's Den, spark theories veering into the supernatural. The park, ripe with folklore about unexplained phenomena and mysterious entities, provided fertile ground for these speculations. Catherine Van Alst's story remains one of the most captivating mysteries of Devil's Denver. Which of these mysteries intrigued you the most? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you have your own interesting experience from the national parks, be sure to comment them down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video.